Georgia from Georgia's Cakes. Welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make meringue kisses and these are a great snack and in fact they're gluten free which makes it a bit healthier don't you think and they also are great decorations for cake which I usually use them for. Please subscribe to this channel, like and comment below with other ideas that you may want me to show you and check me out on my Instagram at Georgia's Cakes for all my other creations especially how I use the meringue kisses. Now to start, really simply, we're going into a mixer bowl with egg white and sugar and I'm using double the amount of sugar to egg white. In this case it's 100 grams of egg white and 200 grams of caster sugar. And I'm using a metal mixer bowl because I'm about to put it on a bain-marie which is a heated saucepan. So I'm just going to mix that around make sure all the sugar is mixed into the egg whites and I'm going to put it onto a bain-marie which is a saucepan of hot water and heat it until the sugar is dissolved and the reason why I've put it into a silver bowl like this is because it's heat proof and controls the temperature a lot better. So I'm just going to check if the sugar has dissolved just by sticking my finger in and seeing if I can feel any sugar granules and I can feel that there's no granules and it's really smooth which means it's ready to whisk. So I'm going to put it on the stand mixer with the whisk attachment and just whack it up high and it's going to keep whisking and form a lovely glossy meringue and we want stiff peaks which means when you lift up the whisk it forms a really nice stiff peak like a mountain. The meringue is ready and as you can see it's really glossy and holding its shape and this is exactly what we want and that's going to be like the kind of tip of the meringue kiss so it's really nice when it curves slightly but that is the consistency you're looking for. So I'm just going to prepare the piping bag. Now for this, <laughs> this is a vase. Um, I'm not planting flowers, don't worry. I'm using it because it's so much easier to fill a piping bag if you've got a vessel like this. If you want plain white ones, you can just go ahead and fill the piping bag straight away, but I'm gonna make them colorful. So I'm gonna turn the piping bag inside out. I'm just going to leave the very end still the right way, just so I can put it back through easily. I'm going to put it around the vase just for stability. I'm going to paint with food colouring stripes down the piping bag for when you pipe the meringues they're going to be really nice and colourful. And I'm going to go for some girly colours. I've got a nice purple here. I'm using gel food colouring. It comes out a lot stronger and you don't need as much whereas liquid food colouring doesn't really stick to the meringue well. All I'm going to do is put a bit on a paintbrush and paint down a stripe. You want to be fairly generous. I'm going to go alternate with pink and purple. You can do as many colours or as many stripes as you want. I think four is a good number just so you can get some white meringue in too. So now I'm going to turn it the right way round, pulling it through. There we go. Almost clean hands. So now I'm going to put it in the vase and it's going to stay nice and still while I fill it up. So just tap the excess meringue off the whisk and simply fill up the piping bag. It's just such amazing texture. I can't believe this was just an egg white and sugar. On eggs, amazing. Sorry vegans. <laughs> Just going to lift the piping bag out and secure it at the top just by twisting it and then I'm just going to lay it flat and push the meringue through and almost massage it into the colour on the piping bag just to make sure that the meringue is touching the colour. All I'm going to do is snip off the end so you don't need a piping nozzle you can use one if you want. Cut it off. So here I have a baking tray with some baking paper on. 
And to make sure it's stuck down, you can use a little bit of meringue underneath the paper and stick it to the tray. I think it makes a little bit of mess. So I have these tiny magnets which help the paper stick down and they just stick to the tray and keep it still. I actually got these where I studied patisserie and um, I'm sure any little magnet will work. All you need to be careful of is that when they come out of the oven the magnets are really hot so be careful. And now it's time to pipe the kisses. So just before I'm just going to push the meringue up, trying to get rid of any air bubbles. What you want to do is be about a centimetre away from the tray and push the meringue through and then lift it up to form the peak. Go along the tray evenly. They do grow a bit in the oven, so you just want to make sure that they're spaced out evenly too. I always pipe in alternate gaps. Apparently the air in the oven circulates better. Ooh, I really like the look of these ones. They look almost like galactic. And you can also see that the more you pipe, the more faded the colour gets. I actually really like it when the colour is nice and faded. It looks more natural. Don't they look so cute? They're like little drops of heaven. They're little peaks on the top. They're ready for the oven now. They're going in at 100 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes until the outside is nice and crispy and the inside is still a bit soft. So the kisses have been cooked and I've left them to cool completely. And you can literally just take one up and hold it in your hand and it's got a really nice shine on it. Um, it can crack around the edges, that's fine, you can hide that. But they're really sweet just as a little snack. And I'm just going to display them nicely. I use them to decorate my cakes or you can make mini ones for cupcakes, that's also really cute. I think they're delicious as they are on their own. So here you go, my meringue kisses. Look how cute they are and all colourful and pretty. They really make amazing cake decorations, so I would definitely try them out if I were you. And they're really simple to make too. You can make them any shapes, any colours. Really cute and really delicious. And like I said before, they're gluten free. Woo! And dairy free as well. So double whammy, which is amazing. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned a bit about meringue. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't already, head to Instagram at George's Cakes and give me a follow. And if you ever make these or any of my creations, be sure to tag me because I would love to see them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.